Welcome to Viral Sweep. This is just a quick tutorial to show you how to set up your first campaign. When you're in your Viral Sweep dashboard, simply click on New Promotion at the top of the page and choose Sweepstakes. Now this is our Sweepstakes Builder, and by completing this entire page, we'll create your Sweepstakes for you. Then we give you a snippet of code that you copy and paste into your website and your Sweepstakes will show up. Alternatively, we also give you a Viral Sweep hosted link, which you can use to quickly share your Sweepstakes without having to put it on your website. So first things first, we'll plug in our sweepstakes title. We have a nice WYSIWYG editor here, which allows you to change things like the font family, as well as the font size and even the font colors. Next is our description. Now, usually this is more information about your prize or information about your company. Next is our duration. So this is going to be the start and end dates of your campaign. You can choose a start date from the calendar as well as a start time. And you can also choose your end date from the calendar as well as the end time. You can also change the time zone as well as the date format if you need to. Next is the number of winners that you want to have for your sweepstakes. Input the number of winners in the box and don't worry you can always change this later when you actually go to draw winners. Next is our form section. Now by default we will always ask for an email address. On the left hand side we have a bunch of pre-made fields that you can add to your form and we even have custom fields like drop down menus, radio fields, and even check boxes that you can add. So to add a field, I'll simply click on it. We'll add the name field here, and you'll see it appears on the right hand side, and now you have a couple options. You can change what the label says for the field, what the placeholders will say, you can set fields to be required or not, and you can even change the error message if someone does not fill out the field and it is required. Another quick tip is if you have multiple fields on your form, and you want to change the order that they show up in, simply click and drag on the field on the left hand side to reorder them. Next are our images. So we ask you to upload a logo, a couple product images, as well as a background image for your sweepstakes. So I'll just upload a couple quick images here for this demo. It's important to note that on the right hand side of the page, we always give you some help text. So you can always refer to that text on the right hand side of the page if you get stuck on anything. For the image section, we give you the recommended image sizes, so be sure to refer to that help section. The last image I'll upload here is my background image, and this image is used exclusively for our full page style. Now before I continue, it's important to note that at the bottom of the page while building your campaign, we have this preview tab. Simply click on the preview tab and you can see what you've built so far. So here you can see we've uploaded our images. They're showing in this carousel here. Here's our sweepstakes title. Here's our logo that we uploaded. And here's our description. Down below we also have the form fields that we've added so far. Another interesting thing is that in the top left hand corner you can change between the template styles that we currently offer. So right now we're viewing our full page. But if you want to see what the widget looks like, simply click on widget. We'll load up the widget for you. And now you can see a quick preview of what your widget will look like. Next is our official rules. Now if you have your own rules from your own lawyers, you can simply paste them in the box. If you want to use our rules template, just simply agree to our disclaimer, fill in the fields with your company information as well as prize information, and we'll automatically populate the rules in the box for you. Next is your landing page URL. I won't go too in depth on this, but basically if you're dropping the sweepstakes into your website, you need to tell us what URL you drop the code into. And the last thing I'll cover here in this quick tutorial are our social actions. So social actions allow you to incentivize people to earn more entries by completing certain actions like referring friends, sharing on your website, sharing the sweepstakes, following your social pages, etc. So for example, Instagram, we can add an Instagram follow action. Simply fill in the field with the Instagram page URL. I'll just put in an example page in here. Input how many entries you want to award for having someone follow you. And then you can also change the icon color for the Instagram icon that would show up. Now, if you want to add multiple Instagram pages, just simply click follow again on the left hand side. And now you can do this for any action. So if you wanted to add, say, Twitter tweet, for example, you can just click on tweet and then you can fill in the information for the tweet. You can even do something like having them visit a website URL and then you would just populate the URL. Now remember, if you want to see how this all looks, simply click on preview 
And at the top here, you can click on post entry and the post entry page will show you what people are going to see after they enter. And here you have it, it tells us we're entered and it also shows us the social actions with any associated bonus entries that we added. So this is the end of our quick tutorial. Be sure to visit our website at viralsweep.com and check out our library for more tutorial videos. Mm -hmm.